Welcome to the May edition of the Kent Invicta Chamber of Commerce video newsletter produced in association with the Video News Company and Mid-Kent College. In this programme we look at the findings of the latest quarterly economic survey and how this has been impacting recruitment and wage growth in the county. We'll learn about the success of Scale Up, the Chamber's new high growth coaching programme and we'll take a look at the possible impact of the government's proposed internet regulation law. But first, let's check in with Tudor Price, Deputy CEO of Kent Invicta Chamber, to hear about a new grant scheme currently available to businesses here in Kent. So the latest grant scheme that's out is the Transport and Logistical Efficiencies, which sounds like a bit of a mouthful, but actually it is uh, more accessible by many businesses than you might think. There are three grants uh, that come within the program, and if you're involved with moving anything from A to B, whether that be the logistics of it, or whether that be actually planning or routing, so it might be you've taken on home delivery now from your website, then these grants are going to be accessible to you. Uh, they come in three forms. You can have a grant which runs from 1 to 10K, and that's the starter. You have the step change, which runs from 10,000 to 20,000, and then you've got the transformational change, which goes up to 60,000 pounds of a grant. As ever, there's always some strings attached, but please do contact the Chamber and we'll do our best to navigate your way through the application form. The British Chambers of Commerce Quarterly Economic Survey is compiled from more than 7,000 businesses, employing around 1 million people and is the leading indicator of GDP growth within the UK. This month we see the publication of the first quarter's results, which highlights some key issues around recruitment and wage growth. Here to tell us more is Roddy from HR Go, one of the Chamber's patrons. The quarterly economic survey very much reflects what we are seeing in the recruitment market. I think it mentions weakened demand and particularly the fact that firms, only 17% of them are hiring at the moment, which is down from 30% just a quarter before. From my point of view in the recruitment market, certainly we are seeing a hesitation in the boardroom. Um, this is no doubt due to all the Brexit chat at the moment and perhaps the indecision in the economy that it's creating. Hopefully decisions are just being deferred or postponed rather than being cancelled. You can download the latest quarterly economic survey and HR Go's wage report publication from the Chamber's resource hub. Despite uncertainty around Brexit, many businesses in Kent have been taking advantage of a highly successful high-growth coaching programme that has helped them to expand and increase profits. Kent Invicta Chambers' Scale Up programme has been developed in partnership with Ashford Borough Council, New Level Results and the Chamber, and has recently extended its participation to the rest of the county. Here to tell us more and how ambitious companies can get involved is Tudor Price. Well, a little while ago we were working with Ashford Borough Council and we ran a pilot scheme on a program which was designed to help those businesses that have the ambition and the capacity to grow. Now, specifically we looked at the impact of long-term engagement with businesses. So we worked on a particular model that designed around 36 hours of high-growth coaching over 12 months. Now, this program has proven to be successful on many levels, not just obviously on productivity and financial return, but also on economic development. So a lot of local authorities have decided to throw their support behind this, and we're now in a position where we're able to roll this out across the county, where we can recruit businesses, again, that have that capacity and ambition, uh, and we're able to offer funded places for a short period. So we're really pleased that we can roll this out across the whole of the county now, and we'd really urge people to get in contact with us at the URL below. As part of the Chamber's commitment to enhance and protect the county's business environment, the Chamber's representation team monitor closely the government's legislative proposals to ensure members have the opportunity to comment on and shape future laws. One such proposal currently under scrutiny is the Online Harm White Paper, which proposes significant regulation of the UK internet. With Kent being home to a large and innovative digital community, the Chamber has been gathering opinion and feedback from businesses in the county. If you would like to find out more about the government's proposals, you can download a copy of the Online Harm White Paper from the Resource Hub. Finally, let's take a look at some upcoming Chamber events. On the 23rd of May, there will be a workshop on how to write successful bids and tenders and win new business at Capital Space West Morling. On the 5th of June, there will be a business breakfast networking event at the Sands Hotel in Margate. 
And also on the 5th of June, we have a behind the scenes gin tasting and tour at Anno Distillers in Tunbridge. To find further details on these events, please visit our events page on the Kent in Victor Chamber website, www.kentinvictorchamber.co.uk forward slash events. Well, that's all for this edition of Kent in Victor Chambers newsletter. Thank you for watching. This video newsletter was produced by the Video News Company, a chamber member based in Chatham that specialises in the creation of affordable video content for company websites and social media platforms. You can contact Peter Middleton, their Managing Director, using the contact details below.